Welcome back, Classic Car Revivals. Yeah, tonight uh, we got Weiss Hot Rod back in here. I want to get this done so we can start driving it. Um, I got some new wheels for it. And tires. They're, uh, they're just the Jags knockoff, uh, like a Weld Pro Star, I believe. And these are the Mickey Thompson Sportsman's, which they don't hook very good, but we're, we won't be racing this thing, but yeah, they got some width to them. And uh, when you crown or uh, Ford Explorer rear end swap these things, you got lots of room to work with, and I think these are going to work pretty good on there. I hope. The issue I got, wheel tubs are in the way. I got a box cut out off of a different truck with good tubs in it. So I'm just going to cut this off where it turns flat and then cut it out to here so that I can get them big wheels on here. So That's my plan anyway. Hopefully they fit. I know when I had the other box on here, I had already cut them out and I had they would have fit on there. I'm about 93.6% sure that they would fit. But we're going to find out, right? So I'm just going to lay this tape down, you know, kind of keep it as straight as I can. So when I cut that other one apart, I'll just use that to extend it so it'll be, it'll still have this, all these curves in it. It'll just, you know, be in three, four more inches. That looks straight. <sighs> looks good. Straight enough? Straight well, enough? I don't know. You could measure if you want. <laughs> I'm not going to measure. <laughs> Have you seen the rest of this truck? Truck is beautiful. So I'm gonna cut this out quick. I'll spare everybody the noise and that kind of stuff. You can film for a second, but I know you want to leave because of the smell, which I want to leave because of the smell too. But I'm just gonna cut it quick and hold my breath while I'm doing it. Hopefully, it takes less time than 25 minutes because I don't think I can still hold my breath that long. It's in the way that you love me. The way that you move. Hmm. Guesses on if they're gonna fit. See the little extra clearance I gave it. And I do have spacers for these wheels to make them sit out this far, so I think I can eliminate the spacers, and those should fit. Let's hope. Almost perfectly. That would have been a lot of studs you had, would have had to pull out of here. That would have been a lot of studs. I think these will look good on my wagon. Then you're pulling the studs out of there. <laughs> Car doesn't have enough power to spin them, so why would I do that? <coughs> yeah. I, I got it to spin a little bit. When? Oh, today, leaving holiday. But... Paint was wet. So. <laughs> Car's not a powerhouse, but. I'm gonna do this the easy way. 
I did decide to only cut the one side off for now, just in case these don't fit. It's a lot easier to fix one side than two. So. Oh, how higher my jack goes. <laughs> It would have hit. <laughs> it only went to there. So it needed the space, but man, that makes it look a lot better. I'm gonna put two lug nuts on it, tighten them down. And forget that I only got two lug nuts on it. First time I drive it, I get passed by a wheel. Not if you're going uphill. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've been passed by a wheel. Bye. Stove is smoking. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better than the other ones. What do you think? Yes. Look at the other one. Yeah, got lots of room. Inch on this side. I probably could have used them spacers and it still would have cleared. That's got a nice width to it too, so and you won't be able to tell from the back end how wide the tires actually are until you line up next to me and I blow your doors off because I I was hooking and you weren't. So, yeah, might as well cut the other side off too, huh? Well, I got in the tub, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna put some spot loads on it, make sure my lines are mostly lined up. I'm, I'm not going for a SEMA truck. It's just going for just to enjoy it, get it out, and have fun with it. Did I turn the gas on? I don't know. And two little spot welds should hold it just fine, right? Oh, sure. I would think so. Why not? Yeah. Looks pretty good. It looks. I got a dent in the one I got to pop out. I think I'm just going to weld something to it and just pry on it to get it to come up. I started whacking on it with my sheet metal hammer. And this truck was built Four tough. Four too tough. I guess the only thing that makes this truck tougher is if it had a Chevy motor in it. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, not on my watch. You don't have a watch. Well, not on my something. You figure out what I want to say. Hey, guess what? Miller time. Oh, ordered me one of these fancy whiskey dance hats. Looks good. I figure he's been rocking mine for a while. I might as well wear his. I figure since I'm out in the garage, I might as well destroy it. <laughs> Maybe this truck should be named Whiskey Dance. Sally. She's got lots of them. Can't come to visit? 
Hey, yeah. Fuzz. Yeah, that's what happens when you leave the door open. Come here. Come on. All the way up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now she's happy. So we had a fire burn in the stove last night. And this dummy decided to jump on him, but she got lucky. Her paws were wet. I heard the sizzle and then she was gone. <laughs> yeah. Did you go catch some ice in there? She loves just sitting in the truck. She'll fall asleep. Three days from now, I'll come back to the garage and find her. <laughs> Whiskey then says, let's go. I like it. I actually left enough room if I want to go with a wider tire, I can just, you know, cut this extra two inches out and then be able to get a bigger tire on there if I want, but... Yeah, because when I start drag racing it, I need a yeah. big these, tire. These are 12 and a half, so... I need, like, 15s. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you some 15s on the back of here. Okay. But what's going on the front? Oh, I'll grab one. Why didn't you ask? Well, I thought you were going to tell me. I forget to mention it was a max set of four. Bigs and littles. So, yeah. So I think those will look good up front. I think they'll... I know these Crown Vic front ends, they have clearance issues, but I think, I think it would be just fine. Might have to take a little bit of that uh, caliper off to make them fit, hopefully not. I didn't think about that part, but yeah. If you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough, that's what they say. Oh, this whiskey dance guy, he's giving away a truck. F600. No way. Yeah. Well, you buy a ticket, you get into the drawing. I think he said 500 tickets, 30 bucks a piece. You buy as many as you want. Pretty cool looking truck. Excited to see it. I think I get to go see it Saturday if we make it that far. So. Usually with the junk I drive, I break down halfway and gotta call my little brother for a ride or uh, <laughs> tools. Or tires, or at least four times, maybe five. I don't know. But you'll be with me, so you're my good luck charm. Yeah, as for this, I'm going to wrap this episode up. I will be putting on clips of what has been done to Big Jim at the end of these episodes, just to keep, you know, keep it in your brain that that truck's getting given away too, so... My tickets are twenty dollars a piece, and I'm doing five hundred. So, and hopefully, a big chunk of that gets donated. That's my plan. I don't need the money. I don't want the money. So, I think it'll be a nice thing to do. And I hope people agree. Let me shut this thing, Let me thing off. Yeah, comment below. Tell me if you like my homemade tubs. I could have. I could have used the piece I cut out of it and then got a strip steel and tried to put it back in and but I had these old dented up ones. I figured I might as well use it. I'm gonna put bed liner in the bed anyway or that spray and stuff, so most of the welds and whatever will be covered, so yeah. It's, it's 
coming along slowly. I actually haven't had it in the garage for a couple months. I wanted it done by now, but that didn't happen. So. But it's time. It's time to get it done so I can start driving it. So. Make the plan, work the plan. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching until the end. I appreciate it. Hank. Yeah. Thank you. And everybody else. So have a wonderful rest of your week and a great weekend and we'll see you next Thursday. More upgrades to the big truck. My old foreman texted me yesterday. He's like, hey, you need a set of tires for that big truck? I was like, well, it depends on what size you got. And he's like, well, they're 22 fives. So I got uh, 275, 80, 22 fives. They're off an old mobile home or uh, RV. So they got low miles on them. Nice looking tires. I got the rest of them thrown on. I wanted to throw this one on. Yeah, give you guys a couple pointers on when you're doing Dayton wheels, because they can actually be very dangerous when you're changing them. So. You loosen the nut up, then you hit that wedge with a hammer. If you take the nut all the way off and you got them all off and one of them shoots out, they got pretty decent force on them. And I don't know if it'll kill a person, but It'll definitely hurt. I actually like changing these because it's quite a bit faster than other semi wheels. Because like you only got five lug nuts to deal with. If anybody needs a set of 850 20s, come get them. Side, I had to beat it off, so it's probably gonna be the same on this side. Lucky me! Oh, well, that one came off easy. side comparison so that should uh that should change gear ratio quite a bit maybe it'll actually run down the highway nice because i've been looking everywhere for a rear end for this and all the ones i'm finding are the same gear ratio I've been driving the truck, it's filthy. So, hey, if you want to take a walk around, show the other side while I get this wheel on.
Big difference? I think so. Yeah, I'll get these lug nuts thrown on and then I'll show you a trick to try to get them as close as, as straight as possible so it doesn't shake going down the road. It's my little trick. I'm sure lots of people know it, but set something, block, tire, it don't matter what you set there, but you spin it. And you watch the, the gap there. See how the gap opened up just a little bit? When it comes back around, I'll start touching. So right where it's touching, you want to hit them a couple lug nuts a little bit. Hey, spin it again. That little bit of a gap opened up. about as close as you can get them so yeah that's what I've always done so yeah until next time I'll see you later yeah there goes nothing I know I've been having starter issues with this so we'll see what happens choke all the way out this one likes the fuel <laughs>